Hi guys, this is the Basic Gamer. I hope you guys are doing well and having a great time. So today I will be showing you, you by you, I mean the people who've just joined in, who just got the game recently, just a rune farm that might help you at the start of the game if you're having trouble, especially if you are not a Souls player or you don't have anybody who can drop you runes. Uh, so what are we doing? We are starting off from the gate front um, side of Grace which is very close to the start of the game. This is where you start off from. So you just got to come and make your way here, right? And then you will talk to the lady, Melina, um, at uh, this side of Grace. It's right there. And then you'll be able to access your horse. Now, this uh, pathway, there is a shortcut to getting to where we want to go. So I'll just show you. On the map first so we're starting off from here right so we're gonna go here you don't even have to fight Margaret or Godric you just come from here take a jump down and then you'll be here at the lake facing uh, cliffs and then you just kind of make your way down keep hugging the cliffs and then you'll come to this place and this is where we want uh, to be so let's go and this is like not the best or you know like doesn't fetch you that many runes but like i said if you're new and you need some help and you don't have anybody to help you out this is a bit of a quick way of getting some runes initially at the start of the game um so you can get going and get a bit stronger um so yeah just follow this path see we're here now Watch out for the wolves falling down from the sky. So yeah, you don't have to fight Margaret or Godric. It's a bit of a shortcut. It takes you straight to learning up the legs. So this is also a part of the video. So we're coming here. And I am just away for a little while and I've been sick for the people who might be wondering why aren't any other videos coming out uh so yeah this was something i thought i'll do because i've been seeing a lot of traffic still on my channel uh even though i haven't posted anything in a while so i was like okay there must be a lot of new people so what's this oh, you can check it out when you come here let's keep it as a secret haha uh -huh. so see we made it down from the bridge now we're gonna go up again there's something over there as well there's a teardrop scarab gives you an ash war so yeah i thought you know like there must be a lot of new players especially around christmas time you know people get it as a present or they've just been holding off and they're like oh okay i'll try this game as well so see we're just hugging the cliffs now just beside the castle um but yeah so this rune farm will fetch you about i think nine or ten thousand in the first go and then in, in in the preceding ones it'll fetch you about 3600 and that is without the gold scarab and gold pickle foul foot and if you can get your hands on that well that's pretty good but otherwise doesn't matter we're just going to keep it easy I'm not going to worry about it but if you are interested it's called uh the gold scarab uh, i've got a video on that uh how to get it um so yeah see we've made it to the lake facing cliff side of grace right so now we're gonna make our way down and we're just gonna get to the converted tower side of grace so yeah like i said we will got a video on the gold scarab and also the gold pickle foul foot how to craft them and stuff so i shall share that in the description below you can check it out for rest of the gang well i will definitely be coming out with something even though i think we've covered almost everything uh well not everything it's such a big game but most of the main things you know the weapons and all that stuff we have covered but i will work on it and we are hoping for the dlc to drop in february let's see what happens um i've done some videos on uh, lies of p which is a pretty good game as well i would say um so where are we now yeah we're almost there so let's just so this 
is like i'm just gonna make it short so you just keep hugging okay we got some bad guys coming i can't show you the map right now uh you just keep hugging this these cliffs right and you just gotta make it let's just oh, there's some bad guys over here to the converted tower side of grace which I think we're almost there anyway, but we'll still see how close we are. So you can't open the map if you've got baddies around, just in case you're new. Um, so yeah, I did some videos on Liza P. It's a good game if you haven't tried it. Okay, so you keep hugging the cliffs like this, right? Like you're gonna touch all. You, you can touch this side of grace as well. But then you will reach and arrive at this one. I'm just going directly straight to there because otherwise the video is going to be too long. Okay. And once you make it to the converted tower side of grace, we got to do is you got to have your weapon ready. And a smaller weapon is uh, preferable. And you got to make a bit of a jump. So I'll show you this one and then I'll just quickly jump into Mogwin's palace there is a way of getting there uh, but I'll just show you the magic of Mogwin's palace as well just in case you're new and you don't know okay so you gotta make a jump here and next jump here now this one is a little bit tricky what you gotta do is you gotta make I might mess this one up once or twice but you gotta make a jump here and you gotta wait for the second jump see there was a little bit of delay and now you're fine but otherwise, if you hit the floor and you die, that means you didn't do it properly. So basically, when you make the first jump, you take a bit of a left and you wait a little bit for the second jump. And after a few seconds, you'll see some runes and it'll say great enemy felled uh, pop up. So like I said, the first time you get about, you know, nine, ten thousand runes. Um, but then in the next ones, you get thirty six hundred. And this is without the gold scarab, and gold pickle foul foot. Um, if you can get those, well, you'll definitely increase it by 50% if you have both of those going. And I've got videos on how to get and craft those items. So I'll share those links in the description below. You can check them out. And remember to keep slashing your weapon on your way down, guys. Don't forget that, otherwise it's not going to work. Yep. So, any second now. And then we'll just quickly pop into Mogwin's Palace. There's there's plenty of, rather, I'll share the links to the Mogwin's Palace. Um, what do you call it? I've got some videos on that. Um, Mogwin's Palace uh, uh, rune farm glitches. So there you go. We're getting some runes, some extra stuff as well. And I think there's going to be a little bit more. Or is it done? I think we're done here after all that happens. So what you got to do now is you press the map button and then you just go to this one and then rinse and repeat guys for the Mogwin's Palace. It is an underground area. It is a secret area. There are a few ways of getting there. Um, and yeah, so I've got videos on the rune farm glitches on Mogwin's Palace and I'll share the links to those videos in the description below as well i hope this helps someone out there and for the rest of the gang i will be coming out with something in the next few days for sure just away for a bit otherwise take care guys happy holidays until next time bye bye